Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with part one of my fall perfume video. I think I'm going to have three parts this year because I'm going to do them ten at a time instead of doing one video with like 30 perfumes in it. I'm going to do part one, part two, part three. Each will have ten perfumes so they will be a little bit shorter but I'll be able to talk about the perfumes a little bit longer and yeah that's that was really my goal is to just be able to talk a little bit longer about each fragrance. So anyways I'm going to stop talking right now and we're going to jump right in. So the first fragrance that I am always so excited to wear as soon as the weather starts to cool down a little bit I start craving this fragrance and I think about it all of the time. And that fragrance is this one here. This is Mon Guerlain Mon Exclusive. This is really, really similar to the original Mon Guerlain. I have a feeling, I need to get my nose on the Intense because I have a feeling that the Intense is very, very similar to this. Um, I've heard so many people tell me the Intense version is amazing. And I just have a feeling that this got discontinued and then maybe turned into, maybe tweaked a little bit and then turned into the Intense. So this is, it's still the beautiful lavender. So this is still a beautiful lavender fragrance, but this one has almond and toffee and butter. It's actually a salted butter. It's not even butter, it's salted butter. So almond, toffee, salted butter. You still have the lavender. It's got caramel. It's got a little bit of coumarin in it. It's stunning. I adore this perfume and I love wearing it. It's such an amazing fall perfume. This is one that I can't wear this in the transition season though. This is one that I have to wait until it is like properly cooler outside because this will choke you out in the heat. It's very, very rich. It's very dense. It's a heavy perfume and it's definitely not meant to be worn in any kind of heat. So yeah, this is, again, this is one of the first ones that I pull when it gets properly cold, which we're about to in a couple of weeks, I think gonna get really cold, which is crazy for this area, but. So anyways, that is Guerlain Mon Exclusive. Next, I have got this beauty, and I am so glad that um, I had a lovely, beautiful subscriber send me another bottle of this, and I cannot tell you how grateful I am for it because I, anytime I wear this, I like blow through so much of it. I think I've only worn um, this bottle twice and that's how much I've used. This is only a 15 ml or a half ounce bottle. So thankfully I have, I've probably got 25 or 26 ml of this perfume left and I'm so thankful. Let me tell you what we're talking about here. We are talking about Givenchy Organza Indecence. There is another perfume on the market called Aniyaki. I can't even remember. And I had it for a minute. I got it in a swap. I ended up decluttering it because it's just not the same. Nothing really smells like organza indecence. I would be willing to bet that there's something in the niche market that smells like this. I'm quite sure there's a niche fragrance out there that smells like this. In fact, I've probably smelled something niche that smells like this. I just need to make a concerted effort to find it and buy it. Um, I'm sure it exists. This is a pretty simple perfume. It's like cinnamon and patchouli and amber and musk. I'm pretty sure that that is all this perfume is. But it is like, it ends up smelling like this creamy, but it's almost, it's something in between creamy and powdery, if that makes any sense. Because I wouldn't refer to this as creamy, but I wouldn't refer to it as powdery either. It's like something right in the middle, like fluffy sweet cinnamon. It's stunning. It's hard for me to explain. I love this though. I'm going to try layering this over my cinnamon and sandalwood body lotion from Bath and Body Works. When I do that, you guys will of course see it in a What I Wore Last Week video, um, but I do plan on doing that very, very soon. But yeah, I do love this perfume so much. As soon as it starts to get cooler out, I pull this one and I only wear it like once a year because I do ration it, but I do love it. So anyways, that is Organza Indecence from Givenchy. Ugh. Next, this is a fragrance that I almost wear this one year round. I don't wear this in the high heat in the summertime, but I do wear it all other three seasons, uh, fall, winter, and spring, and I adore it. This is Gallagher Fragrances Wicked Good. Um, this is hands down by far my favorite chocolate fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. 
It is hands down my favorite Gallagher fragrance on the market. I love it. It is chocolate, Madagascar vanilla, and tonka bean. And it's probably my favorite because it is a chocolate, it is like a vanilla chocolate perfume, but it's got that roasted tonka in the base. And it's not necessarily roasted, but you know what I mean. It's like the tonka bean gives it this roasty uh, fragrance. It's so good. It's so good, you guys. I love this perfume. I could not be without it. I need to buy a backup bottle of this, honestly, because I wear it so much that I bet I've only got about half a bottle left at this point. Um, so I do need to buy a backup bottle, which I probably will. If Gallagher has uh, any good sales this holiday season, I will probably go ahead and pick up a backup of this. Um, because I love it. It's one of my favorite fragrances in the world. And I'm so glad that it's coming out again and it will probably live somewhere out and about not like tucked away um, because I wear it so often I love it so it's only been put up for the summer <laughs> um, but that's it's honestly that was too long so anyways that is wicked good from Gallagher next we have got this beauty this was sent over by a subscriber and I, this is one of those fragrances that number one, I've never, there is something that it kind of smells like, but I've never smelled anything like this in my life. This, the way that this perfume changes on your skin and what it turns into at the end is amazing. What it starts as and what it ends up as, two totally different ball games and I love it. So this is a fragrance from a house called Ikirio Dream House and this is a perfume called White Rabbit. So when you smell this out of the bottle, this smells like an intense vintage style beachy white floral. You get this like intense vintagey jasmine gardenia concoction. You kind of get like, I don't know, it's kind of a cross between sand and sable and amarige. It's, it's amazing. And that hangs around with you for a while. But then this dries down to this beautiful, like yummy, fluffy, vanilla fragrance. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. It's This one's really, really difficult to explain because what you smell in the bottle is not going to be what you end up with and you just, you have to experience it to know what I'm talking about and it's, it's incredible. This is a fragrance I would have never known anything about had this not been sent over to me. Um, so thank you so much to the person who sent this. It is a treasure in my collection. I absolutely treasure it and adore it. It's beautiful. And I've been waiting for, this does perfectly fine in the heat. Um, I have worn it in the heat and it's perfectly fine, but I have a feeling it's going to absolutely bloom in the cold weather because of what the base ends up being. Um, so anyways, that is a fragrance from Ikirio Dream House and it is called White Rabbit and it is a stunner of a fragrance, especially for my vintage lovers out there. If you love vintage fragrance the way that I do, I think that you would absolutely love that. If you are an Amarige lover, oh my gosh, I think you would absolutely love it. Um, it's just, it's like on another level. Okay, next I've got another vanilla fragrance and it's funny because I did not realize how many vanillas I had until I had these all laid out and then I was like, wow, that's a lot of vanilla. But I usually gravitate towards vanilla first because it's such an easy transition going into cooler days and then I'll transition from vanillas and things into much heavier um, darker perfumes in the really cold weather. So anyways, this one is Virgil from Sylvain Delacourt and this is one that I can wear this in the heat just fine. It's a little, it's fine in like moderate warm temperatures, but I made the mistake of wearing it in like high heat, like 90s, like up in the 90s and it was way too heavy for that. So I will not make that mistake again. This is a perfect fragrance for, it's a great transition fragrance, but it is a perfect fall fragrance, like early fall fragrance. This is a beautiful aromatic vanilla. It's a pretty heavy vanilla. It's a, this thing is nuclear on me. It lasts 
12 plus hours. Um, once you spray this on, you're stuck with it for a long time. And yeah, I love it because it's aromatic and fresh smelling, but at the same time, it's sweet and vanillic and heavy, and I adore it. That is Sylvain Delacourt Virgil. Oh gosh, you guys, I have been waiting so long for cooler weather to bust this baby out. I bought this trio in the middle of the summer, and yeah, I've been waiting to pull it out for the fall because I just know it's going to be amazing in cooler weather. This is from Ganache Parfums. This came in their vanilla trio, and this is the one called Dark. It just smells like a dark vanilla, a dark, kind of slightly woody, slightly sweet vanilla. I want to say, I, if I remember correctly, this has got some kind of a booze note in it, like maybe rum or whiskey something like that so it's just this really beautiful kind of dark moody vanilla and i love it and i can't wait to give this some love because i have worn it but it was again the middle of the summer i, I did declutter the other two that came in this trio because they smelled like trash on me um, this one though smelled really good on me and i knew it was just going to be such an amazing fall winter vanilla perfume so anyways that one is called dark i don't have anything else like this in my in my collection either okay next we have an imaginary author's perfume and it's funny because i was sitting here the other day and this perfume literally just popped into my head and i was like i i need it i need to pull this out i need to wear this now it's the perfect time of year for this this is from imaginary authors and this is called yesterday haze this is such a beautiful perfume. This is a fig fragrance, but this is fig and whipped cream and walnuts. So you get this slight, this kind of slight toasted nut. Yeah, it's like toasted nuts, toasted walnuts. It's super warm and beautiful. And the fig is not a green fig. It's a, it's definitely a, like a sweet, edible fig. It's not a green herbaceous smelling fig. It's yummy figs and whipped cream, really, and toasted walnuts on top. If you could imagine that, like a dessert where you've got yummy like stewed figs topped with whipped cream and then topped with like, I don't know, cinnamon toasted walnuts. It's like a dessert. It's beautiful. I love it, but without being overly sweet. Yeah, it's not overly sweet at all. It's just the perfect amount of slight sweetness. So anyways, that is Yesterday Haze from Imaginary Authors. Next, I have got this baby. I love this perfume. I almost decluttered this. I had this for sale on my Mercari page for probably a year and nobody bought it. And finally I was like, well, I'll just keep it. I mean, you know, nobody wants it. Well, in over that year, this thing like, I don't know, came into its own in this bottle. It just needed some time to sit. This is a fragrance from Armoff. This is Armoff Enchanted Katerina Light Blue. So when I first got this and the reason I was gonna declutter it was because I couldn't smell it on me. I would spray it on and then I couldn't smell anything. But it just needed some time and it just needed to be able to sit. This is a clone of Manifesto Lelixir and it's stunning. It smells like Manifesto, but it's sweeter and richer. It's got like a syrupy quality to it. So it's like a sweeter, heavier, syrupy Manifesto. And it's beautiful. And you can pick this up on, you can pick this up on FragranceNet, I think, still, for under $20. And it is so good. And that Manifesto is long discontinued, so you can't find that anymore. So... Yeah, this is a really good alternative. You do have to spray this. You need to give it some love, give it some, you know, introduce some oxygen in there and then let it sit for like a while until it starts to really get some body to it. And then, oh, it's just awesome. So yeah, I wore this, the last time I wore this was this past spring and I was in love with it. I think that's when I finally pulled it out of my declutter box 
and I fell in love with it and I put it away for the summer and I've been waiting all summer to pull this back out and give it some love. So yeah, you will definitely see this in a What I Wore Last Week video very, very soon because I am like dying to start wearing this. So anyways, that is our Moff Enchanted Katerina Late Blue. Horrible, horrible bottle, but the fragrance inside is so good. Okay, next is another vanilla. Um, this is a fragrance that, this is one that I have been looking at sitting on my shelf all summer, kind of longing to wear it, but knowing that it's just, this this is not meant for heat. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance and I am so excited to start wearing it. This is Chopard Casimir. And this is really, really similar to Vanilla Fields from Cody. Like the original formulation, 1990s Vanilla Fields from Cody. And it's so, so good. It's a vintage smelling style vanilla. It's like a 90s style vanilla. It's a vanilla that is way more grown up. It's not vanilla like, um, you know, it's not vanilla like any of the other vanillas I've shown in this video. This is a super grown up vanilla. Back in the 90s, we didn't have like saccharine sweet perfumes. We didn't have fun, juvenile smelling. We didn't have things that made us smell like cupcakes. This is what we had for vanillas. And because of that, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Not that there's anything wrong. I wanna smell like a cupcake every single day. So I am not knocking smelling like a cupcake. Trust me, that's, I aspire to smell like a cupcake most days, but there's just something to be said about a beautiful, grown up, vintage style, 90s style vanilla. So anyways, that is Chopard Casimir. And then last but not least, we have this one here. This is Parfums Wheel Sookie Essence. This is such a beautiful, this is a really spicy, this is like a spicy light amber kind of. It's spices and woods, really. And I'll tell you what I love to layer Sookie Essence over is this oil here. This is an oil from uh, Sugarworks Beauty Lab, and this is called Chai Creme Anglaise. And oh my gosh, this is sweet, creamy chai and whipped cream, basically. It smells like gingerbread or but really really creamy this underneath the spicy slightly woody ambery sookie essence is perfection it's such a beautiful combination it's a combination that i found last year that i knew from here until the rest of this bottle i will be wearing this combination because it's so so good it's such a cozy, comforting, like ready for fall and the holidays kind of scent. So anyways, that is Parf Parfums Wheel Suki Essence and Sugarworks Beauty Lab Chai Creme Anglaise. And that is gonna be it, guys. That is it for part one of my fall perfumes. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.